here in part two of TakeOver Warzone. We are moving over to the NXT side of things here. Starting things off with NXT Women's Championship. First out is the challenger, Tamina. And she gets another chance at Asuka's title. And both women do not have to worry about Emma anymore. She is on SmackDown Live. So, she's going to be one on one contest. We're going to see if Tamina can dethrone Asuka as NXT Women's Champ. Speaking of the champ, here she is. Asuka still undefeated here in NXT. Looking to continue her winning ways as we get closer to wrapping up Universe Mode here in 2K17. Again, even though it doesn't pertain to anyone in part two here, I might as well mention this before I forget. As, uh, as more of an explanation off of what I explained in part one. We are going to be, uh, what is it, wrapping up Universe Mode for 2K17 after the final part of the Battleground pay-per-view, which is Raw exclusive. That'll be where we end it, and we'll pick up in 2K18, where we're building up to whatever pay-per-view is after that. So Asuka on her way, or in the ring now, getting ready, the crowd behind the champ. Go back to what I was saying. It's going to be the... So this will be the last TakeOver pay-per-view. And then also another side note. Once we get to 2K18. We're going to be technically done with Friday Night Fear. We're going to incorporate the Legends in to Raw or SmackDown. Maybe NXT here and there for... There's reasons to do so. But Fury will be done after the next episode of that which I think there's one or two left but again legends will be incorporated into the main roster once 2k18 comes around but we're going to get on to the first matchup of this video Tamina versus Asuka Tamina starting off in control right away All right, we are about 20 something days away from the pre-order release of WWE 2K18 so that's why we're going to be wrapping things up soon we'll probably be done by it is what day is it as I record this it is September 21st as I'm recording part 2 here so I'll probably finish everything within 2K17 by October 4th so I'll give us a few some time to relax, plan out new storylines and ideas for 2K18 once we pick things up. But now Asuka in control. Kick, stiff kick right to the back of Tamina. Thought she didn't go for cover there. There's another stiff kick to the back. I think Asuka has her target here. It's a second rope call for Tamina to get to her feet. Missile drop kick. Tamina sidesteps it into a back drop suplex. All right, I can already I can already tell this is going to be a back and forth matchup as it was last time around. Uppercut from Oscar. Nice takedown. Tamina reeling here. We are going to take a commercial break here as Oscar. And the crowd are hyped up for this NXT Women's Championship match. And we will be back in a few moments. Back and hip attack from Asuka right away going for the cover. One, two, and no Tamina just barely kicks out. Survives that onslaught just for at least a couple more minutes. But Asuka, knee to the face. She's, if anything, Tamina just prolonging the inevitable here. 
I'm gonna arm drag. Asuka shot to the gut. Turns Tamina around. This is gonna end up being at middle of the ring. Asuka locks it in. Asuka lock in place. Tamina has nowhere to go. She's gonna tap. And she does tap out. I think. Did she? No. Asuka. No, okay. It's a weird animation there, but Asuka retains the NXT Women's Championship heading into 2K18, making Tamina tap out with the Asuka lock. No one ever gets out of that dangerous submission maneuver. That will be it for Tamina here, pretty much. Closing moments. Asuka retains. We're going to move on to the main event of part two, which will be the Cruiserweight Championship match between King Ricochet and Akira Tozawa. Welcome back to TakeOver Warzone, guys. We are getting ready for some Cruiserweight Championship action here between the number one contender, Akira Tozawa, who won a fatal four-way ladder match last NXT, taking on the current and first Cruiserweight Championship, or Cruiserweight Champ in Universe Mode in King Ricochet. So Akira Tozawa on his way to the ring, won that brutal fatal four-way ladder match to gain this opportunity. So he'll be the first to challenge the champ. As he makes his way to the ring, we're going to get Ricochet out here. Alright, everybody ready for this? Alright, and there he is, the cruiserweight champion, Ricochet. Alright, won that battle royal to determine the first ever cruiserweight champ here in universe mode. Ricochet was a surprise entrant, and he... He proved why he is here. We heard from him also the week after he won on why he decided to come to the WWE and NXT specifically for reasons like this. So we're going to get this Cruiserweight Championship match underway. All right, the crowd is ready. That's what's on the line here to wrap up part two. Alright, Ricochet versus Akira Tozawa. Both men ready. Let's do this. Referee ring that bell. All right, Tozawa wasting no time. Double knees Meteor right to Ricochet. Akira Tozawa coming out of the gate aggressive. On the offense, elbow drop. Picks him up. Jawbreaker reversal from Ricochet. Into looks like he's going for a hurricane rod, but turns it into an arm drag. Ricochet is one of the best athletes in the world today. Looking to prove that here once again. Drawbreaker from Tazawa. Right off the ropes is Ricochet versus it right hand to the chest. Northern light suplex. Springboard moonsault from off the second rope. Ricochet firmly in control. Drops some elbows onto the top of the head of Tozawa. Picks him up once again. Tozawa with the uppercut. Into a running bulldog. Tozawa a little bit more aggressive than usual. Ricochet rolls out of the way of that drop kick. But it's planted by the flapjack. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Not good. Stomp right to the chest of the champion. We're going to take a commercial break here in a second as Tozawa is sizing up his opponent. Goes up to the apron, calling for Ricochet to get to his feet. Doesn't Ricochet takes advantage into the corner. Top rope, 
going for her Kinrana, but Tozawa blocks it into a big diving maneuver. Now we're going to take that break and return back to Cruiserweight Championship action. It's the main event of part two, and the referee is counting. No one told me that this was the last main standing match. I thought only the Million Dollar Championship title match was a last man standing match. Hopefully that one is. But no one informed me that this was either. So ricochet down on the mat. The referees counts quick. So I was just stalking his prey into a snap suplex. Again, I was not informed that this was also a last man standing match. So we're going to roll with it, I guess. Count of two already. Three. Ricochet needs to get to his feet if he wants to retain the championship. I think Tozawa just watching and waiting. Oh, and a sunset flip from Ricochet. Tozawa down now. Ricochet doing what was done to him moments ago, just sizing up his opponent while on the mat. been back and forth so far seeing who could come out on top again if everything goes according to schedule there will be one more episode of NXT before we end it off into 2k18 big diving move from King Ricochet And the schedule goes, I'm trying to go off memory of how we planned it. After TakeOver Warzone, it's going to be Monday Night Raw, SmackDown Live, NXT, Fury, and then however many parts it takes for Battleground. So, on a big overhead kick from Ricochet, knocking Kazawa out seemingly. So again, whoever... This champ after this match will be heading into 2K18 Universe Mode as the Cruiserweight Champion. Count of 6, 7, this might be it for Tozawa. Count of 8, not even stirring yet. 9, and he does right at the last second. He's almost a victory for King Ricochet. Snap suplex once again by Tozawa. Count of two, count of three, count of five, Tozawa just catching his breath in the process, six, right, count of seven from the ref, eight, ricochet up, with some time to spare, backdrop suplex hits it from Tozawa, And they're just doing one move to each other, getting him down, and just waiting to see how long it takes before they get up. The referee going quick with the count. Still wish someone would have told me that this was the last man standing match, but that's alright. Tozawa sizing up Ricochet once more into a vertical suplex. Drops the elbow right on the chest. Did that a couple times earlier. Just more targeting the chest area of the champ. Right, could this be it? All right. Well, we're waiting for the referee's count. To see if Ricochet gets two feet before the count of ten. Part three will be the final two. Matches on the card, the million dollar championship match between Dusty Rhodes, current champ, and number one contender, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And then the other match is the NXT championship match between Shinsuke Nakamura, current champ today with Tommy, and we are going to be throwing Bobby Roode into this matchup, making it a triple threat match. See who comes out on top. Ricochet now. Awaiting the referee's count, seeing if Akira Tozawa can get to his feet. Out of six, Tozawa up quickly. 
Ricochet calling for it. Could be the beginning of the end. To a Northern Lights suplex. Bridging into a vertical suplex. That might be it for Tozawa. We're going to see referee count at two already. Three. Crowd is counting along with the ref. Five. And this might be it now. Count of six. Count of seven. And that will be it. King Ricochet retains the Cruiserweight Championship heading into the final NXT of 2K17 Universe mode, defeating Akira Tozawa in a last man standing match. That'll pretty much do it here from part two of TakeOver Warzone. There's going to be one more part with those championship matches I mentioned moments ago. King Ricochet still your Cruiserweight Champion. On that note, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And we'll see everybody in part three. Thank <laughs> you.